death and police have since cleared the scene that once extended all the way down this neighborhood here on McCurry. It was all about a homicide that was also tied to a bomb scare that led police to this home, uh, which that was where the bomb scare happened. The details of which continue to unravel and are disturbing. All of a sudden heard those initial four shots and I go, on the couch in the living room with the house wide open. I said those were gunshots. It know. all started just before 1 a.m. on G Street next to Robert Kesterson's home. Wheatland police tell us they found the victim, 55-year-old Ralph Mendez, suffering from gunshot wounds inside his home. He later died. Those who lived next to him described him as a good neighbor. He has helped all the elderly people on this street. Kesterson says he watched the suspect, identified by Wheatland police as Rory Banks, turn himself in. I need to respond to G up here's the point. He just shot somebody dead. New police audio revealing what happened. His name is Roy Banks. Come for advice when we arrive to stand out on the sidewalk with his hands up. The crime led police to a search that upended those living near McCurry Street where Banks lived with his wife and son. After a raid of Banks' home led police to a suspicious device and calling in the bomb squad. Shelby McGee lives nearby and was startled by banging on her door. And the next thing I know, there's a police officer at the door saying that the bomb squad found something suspicious at the neighbor's house and that we were all having to evacuate. Families were evacuated for hours until bomb squad officials determined the device safe. Wheatland police tell us it was a cell phone jammer used to prevent anyone from tracking a cell phone. Wheatland police chief Damian Sylvester says Banks is cooperating and investigators are searching for a motive. We, uh, we don't think it was a random act. We believe that the victim was targeted. Many online, including neighbors, believe the killing had to do with the victim's predatory past, which is known to many in this community. Mendez was released from prison in 2011 after serving two years after being convicted of lewd or lavicious acts with a child under 14. Did he deserve what happened to him no. tonight? No. Ralph was, he was a very gentle person. I, I, I figure he's done his time for what he's, he served. Now back out here live in that quiet Wheatland community. This truck was among many of the things that police searched today. Wheatland police still trying to piece together what exactly that motive was as well as that scene. Their suspect is being held at the Yuba County Jail and has reportedly been cooperating with police.